Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna be porting this 57 millimeter cylinder head that I'm going to be using on my 63 millimeter uh, big board kit. And if you're wondering why am I using smaller head on my 63 millimeter big board kit, the reason is because I want to get a higher compression on the engine because higher compression means more power. The only thing that I'm worried about is that the, comp the compression can be like too high and it's gonna make it hard for my scooter to turn on, but I don't see many people doing this mod. So I don't know if I'm the first one or one of the few people that does these to the scooters. So, but also I'm gonna be porting this uh, cylinder head and what porting is gonna do for my scooter, well, basically if you already did like a big board kit and you have a bigger carburetor, a different camshaft and a different exhaust muffler and if you wanna increase the top end of your scooter, the only thing that you can do and also it's free if you already have all the tools. Uh, it's porting your cylinder heads, which is gonna get the best performance out of your camshaft, like the A9 or A12. So if you haven't poured uh, your cylinder head yet, this is a highly recommended uh, mod that you can do to your scooter to get all the advantages of having a high lift uh, camshaft. And without further ado, let's start with the video. So, okay, the first thing I'm going to be doing is gonna get rid of this edge right here. And I got these carbide bits on Amazon for $10 and already had this Dremel tool. So it's not that expensive doing this uh, kind of job. I know by removing metal out of the cylinder head, the compression is gonna change. Uh, it's gonna decrease, but I'm not too worried because this is a 57 millimeter cylinder head and you know the piston head is a 63 millimeter. Uh, the reason why am I removing this uh, is because sharp edges usually uh, increase the temperature on the engine because they these edges, because they're really thin, they get pretty hot and it makes the engine run hotter so i'm gonna leave these valves right here because i'm not gonna be using them and also that's gonna help me protect the valve uh, seats so if in case this jumps you know either way it's gonna damage the valve and it's not gonna damage the valve seats so if you're planning to use the same valves be very careful, but I would recommend using a high performance box. So as you can see, I didn't remove uh, a lot of material out of the cylinder head. I just smoothed out the edges. So after doing that, I'm gonna uh, sand it down with uh, this disc right here uh, to make the edges smooth. And also I'm gonna polish uh, everything so that way uh, oil deposits uh, don't get stuck to the cylinder head. So let's do it. So now I'm gonna be using these uh, Dremel buffing pads 
and this is going to make the scratches smaller so I'm gonna be using this one which is uh, 180 then uh, we'll have this one having used it's been used uh, this one is 220 and this is uh, 320 and after it smooth the surface I'm gonna polish it So now that our Hillander head uh, is polished, we're gonna remove the intake and exhaust valves. And I'm going to be using this wrench right here. Uh, I'm gonna turn around my cylinder uh, valve head. And just gonna press here really hard and this is gonna pop out. And now we can remove the valves like this. So now we're gonna, uh, if you have a gasket, you're gonna put the gasket over the intake uh, port. Or in this case, I have a uh, this this is to raise the intake to install the carburetor so okay i did it off camera but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your uh, gasket or whatever and you're gonna match the opening on the gasket or the intake racer to the uh, inlet of the intake uh, port which is this one right here and that that you see uh, black that circle we're gonna grab our Dremel tool and we're gonna uh, open this uh, circle bigger so that way there is no uh, restrictions when our air is flowing through the intake So I don't know if you can see all this nasty uh, casting that is inside. We're gonna remove all of that. Also we're gonna remove this hump right here which is the valve guy. And nothing's gonna happen if we remove it because this goes from here all the way down to here. So it's a pretty long guy and we need to remove it so that way uh, we have less restriction whenever air is going inside through the intake so let me start doing it
okay so after like an hour this is how the intake uh, uh, looks like like the port and as you can see it's a pretty big difference and that's gonna be uh, all for this side and on this one I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna polish it and do whatever I did on the other side but this one is gonna be polished so let me do it and I'll see you uh, when I'm done so after four hours and a half of work uh, as you can see on the screen this is how the cylinder head looks like and in the exhaust port everything came out looking really nice really smooth really shiny so we're not gonna have any problems with the gases or fumes coming out of the exhaust port but in the other hand if you pay attention and the intake port uh, is not smooth and shiny as it is on the exhaust port the reason why is because this is a wet uh, intake and if you have a carbureted uh, motorcycle you're gonna have a wet intake and if you have a fuel injection motorcycle you're gonna have a dry intake so basically I don't want to make this video too long but if you have any questions just google difference between dry and wet intakes and they're gonna give you a better explanation that I can and the only thing you need to know if you do this to your uh, scooter uh, just go ahead and remove all the imperfections of the casting and after you do it just grab 80 grit sandpaper and with your finger uh, try to smooth the imperfections that you left after using the Dremel tool and you're gonna leave it like that and this is the results that you're gonna have and everything's gonna run really smooth and also uh, I'm not gonna be able to install this today because I'm still waiting for some new uh, you know valves uh, valve springs and retainers and I'm gonna use titanium for all of them which is lighter and more resistant and the reason why is because I'm gonna install a higher lift uh, camshaft I'm gonna install the A12 which is bigger than the A9 and supposedly it gives you uh, more performance and you know I don't want to risk it of uh, you know the spring breaking or you know something bad happening because if you didn't know once you pour uh, your cylinder hit your RPMs are going to increase I mean it depends on how much material you remove if you did something like I did here uh, probably your RPMs are going to increase around six to seven hundred so and I know it because uh, when I installed the 171 uh, big board kit on my uh, Vitassi rocket I did the porting on the cylinder head but before I was cruising around uh, 6700 RPMs around 52 53 miles per hour but after doing the big board kit and uh, you know porting the head I was cruising around uh, 7500 sometimes I would reach uh, 7800 uh, RPMs and that was cruising but when I was at top speed uh, it was around 8300 so that's the reason why you need to upgrade your uh, bulb train because these bulbs are not meant to be uh, used on higher uh, RPMs because they're gonna break and if they're break they're gonna damage they're gonna make a lot of damage on your uh, scooter so to avoid that I'm just gonna use uh, you know new valves springs and retainers which they're a little bit pricey but at the end it's better to be safe uh, than sorry and this is it for today guys I don't want to make this video any any longer uh, I hope you liked the video and learned something this was not a tutorial but you know it was just for entertainment and 
Thank you so much for watching and I see you on the next one. Bye.